Hey, this is Buzz signing in. Episode 12, Part 3. The assembly of the Starduster M400 antenna. As you can see, I have it completed. It's uh, up on the mast pole. And uh, what we're going to do in this episode is I'm going to go through some of the final parts of the assembly of the antenna, uh, show you the instruction sheet, and point out a few things that you'll want to concentrate on if you plan on putting one of these together. That's up next on Airwaves. Buzz Stones Airwaves. Okay, we're looking at the assembly instructions that come with the M400 Starduster antenna. And a few things I want to point out. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, part 2 of episode 12, uh, the main mass pole here that runs up to the base of the antenna and then down to the actual mass pole. As you will recall, I told you I used some one and a quarter inch electrical uh, PVC conduit for this because I wanted to insulate this from the uh, metal pole because of a video I'd seen where it said if the antenna was actually free floating in space, you had uh, better gain. Okay, uh, I mentioned that that, uh, that PVC conduit there was a very tight fit, well, it was even tighter than I thought. And I could not get it to fit in there without uh, taking a file and filing it down. It probably, if you had a grinder, it would be it would go a lot faster. But I did have to shave off a little bit of that to get that to fit up in there. But uh, once I did, it fit very very tightly. I don't believe it's going anywhere. And also, since that was uh, uh, too tight of a fit this plastic black plastic sleeve right here that holds your ground plane radials in in place that also uh, was too tight a fit to fit over the conduit so what I did with that that's a, uh, a ring there plastic it's a hard plastic I took a uh, rat tailed file and uh, hollowed out the inside of that just a little bit didn't take a whole lot enough basically to get the sheen off of it um, and so it was still a tight fit but it did fit on there but it's very very firmly now so i will tell you if you do plan to use the uh, pvc conduit you're going to have to do a little fitting there with either a grinder or a file to get that to fit um, i'm assuming that if you used a metal pole uh, that's the proper size uh, that that will not be an issue but definitely something you want to think about also, another uh, little issue I came across uh, doing the final assembly is this right here. This is the uh, this collar right here. That goes down here on your ground radio. You know, there's two sections to this, just like at the top part. The uh, bottom section slides up inside the upper section so that you can adjust it. Uh, for the frequency that you're uh, trying to uh, tune the antenna to. Now that collar there, which has a set screw in it, and you use an Allen wrench to, uh, to tighten that, this plastic sleeve that holds those in place, that will not fit. There's a, a, uh, a ring in the end of this that this radial slides through. That will not fit over that collar because like I say that will not slide over that so that's something I learned uh, also during the process but as you saw in the opening of the video the antenna is up I've, it's just kind of in a temporary position right now I've got to uh, do some drilling in the foundation and run the uh, coax through there up into the radio room I'm also going to be driving a uh, ground stake outside uh, the building running a ground wire up to my uh, equipment rack in uh, the radio room and uh, once that's all finished uh, on another video that I had you may have seen the unboxing of the Bearcat uh, radio I'm going to be uh, showing you the how this antenna tuned up uh, on that radio which I'll tell you right now it was great Uh, 
the Bearcat has an antenna matching diagnostics program built into it. Every frequency that I uh, checked, um, and I, I basically just skipped all around the uh, Citizens Band on there, and it was the SWR was 1.0 on every frequency. It, it matched up great. Really pleased with it. I've done some listening uh, on the Bearcat on uh, upper and lower sideband and regular AMCB and uh, picking up a lot of stations loud and clear. Uh, I did do just one contact on uh, regular AM. Uh, when I first got hooked up to make sure it was working correctly and uh, somebody came back loud and clear. I have not tried any QSOs yet on uh, upper or lower sideband, but that'll, that'll be coming up later on in a future video. Something else I wanted to point out that's part of the instruction uh, sheet here. I told you about this graph, and this is important when you're doing the tuning of your antenna. This graph here, you got your X and Y axis, and across the bottom... It's the uh, frequency range of the radio, uh, which runs from 26.5 megahertz on up to 30 megahertz. And then you've got this column here, which is the length of your radiators on the antenna, and that's in millimeters. As I explained, you have to uh, convert the millimeters to inches, and you do that by multiplying them by the coefficient, which is basically 0.0394 and that gives you inches and as you may recall if you saw uh, part two of this video series that I decided on a, uh, a center frequency <clears throat> in here to tune it to uh, of the complete bandwidth of the uh, antenna and so you just follow whatever frequency you choose you just follow that up until it intersects with this line right here and that tells you the length that your radiators need to be. In my case, it came out to be 99.6 inches, which is what I set both um, the ground planes and the vertical radiator. All three ground planes and the vertical radiator need to be the same length in order to tune the antenna correctly. I think some people had told me they were having some problems tuning this antenna, but uh, you know when I followed these directions, I chose the center of it, as I said, when I checked it on the Bearcat uh, single sideband radio, it was uh, at 1.0 SWR on every frequency. So, uh, very uh, good antenna, I think, very broadband. Uh, later on, as I've got some time to uh, make some contacts on there, then I'll, I'll get back to you and give you a, an update on the performance. But so far, uh, I'd say that I'm very pleased with the antenna. So this is uh, part three, final part of the three-part series of episode 12 on the assembly of the Starduster M400 antenna for uh, CB. And uh, you could also use this on uh, 10 meters amateur radio. This is Buzz Stone. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, I appreciate it if you would subscribe, share, and like the video. And we'll see you down the dial.